Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you again so much for our time together. Well, we're going to have great services all this week, and Brother John Amazzini will be speaking for us tonight, tomorrow, and on all of our services on Sunday. He'll be making the full spin, South Campus, Main Campus, and East Campus, and soon coming in Jesus' name, North Campus. But right now, I want to read a rather long passage of Scripture to you today to show you how God leads us and how God guides us. Numbers chapter 9, beginning with verse 15. On the day the tabernacle, the tent of the testimony, was set up, the cloud covered it from evening till morning. The cloud above the tabernacle looked like fire. This is how it continued to be. The cloud covered it, and at night it looked like fire. Whenever the cloud lifted from above the tent, the Israelites set out. Whenever the cloud settled, the Israelites encamped. At the Lord's command, the Israelites set out, and at His command, they encamped. As long as the cloud stayed over the tabernacle, they remained in the camp. When the cloud remained over the tabernacle a long period, the Israelites obeyed the Lord's order and did not set out. Sometimes the cloud was over the tabernacle only a few days. At the Lord's command, they would encamp, and then at His command, they would set out. Sometimes the cloud remained only from evening till morning, and then it lifted in the morning. They set out. Whether by day or by night, wherever the cloud lifted, they set out. Whenever the cloud stayed over the tabernacle for two days or a month or a year, the Israelites would remain in camp and not set out. But when it lifted, they would set out. At the Lord's command, they encamped, and at the Lord's command, they set out. They obeyed the Lord's order in accordance with His command through Moses. Too often, brothers and sisters, Christians get, I don't know any other word but a colloquialism my father used to use. They get antsy. It's like they got ants in their pants. They, they can't sit still. They can't relax into a new career or into a new position or into a new position of authority or into a new home. They, they can't relax. They can't just remain in a place that God put them there. They want to move on. And if we are going to be people that are blessed of the Lord, we have to be people that move when God tells us to move and stay when God tells us to stay. You say, well, how do you know when God's telling us to stay? Because nothing's happening. Let me say that again. Nothing is happening. He just, His presence just remains. And you say, okay, His presence is here. I just remain. Now, what I would challenge you to do in life is never be looking around for the next opportunity. Never be, be looking for the next thing to do. Just be looking at God. Let me say that again. Never be looking for what's next. Just be looking at what's God. Let me say that again. Never be looking for what's next. Be looking at what is God doing. As long as God wants you to stay in a place, be happy and content and relax and enjoy and maximize the opportunity. When the presence of God lifts off of a situation, that's the time to begin to look to move on. 